Hey guys, so for, I'm back, actually, and if you want to know how many of my lips, I'm fine, I just sprained it. Anyways, so for this week's video, I decided to do, con bleh, continue on and do a continuation of my book recommendation series. So this is part two, and don't forget these are all on Wattpad, so you will be, feel free to follow all these people on Wattpad, just link will be in the description box below. And also to subscribe to the channel, because come on guys, you know you want to. Let, okay, well that's all, so let's get on into the video. So here's book recommendation number one. It is Cupcake Kisses by Kaya Lights Pia. Okay, I don't know. Lights Boo. And the description is, they are, were never supposed to fall in love. In fact, they were probably never supposed to be to meet. But life does that sometimes. It brings you someone who un unexpectedly turns your world upside down. For Ella, it all began on the last day of summer. A small bakery on the edge of town with three teenage boys, a plastic knife, and a rocket ship for him to keep. So this book has not been finished yet. And this author has not updated it in a long while. But the book is still good. I still recommend it, even if the author hasn't updated it in a while. This is book two. My brother's girlfriend. So this is a, let's say, fan fiction of two girls from Fifth Harmony. Me, Camila Caballo and Lauren, I don't know her last name. I can't say it. I know it starts with a J. Anyway, so this person is Cameron because why not? Anyways, so the description is Laura is known in her town as the cool lesbian. Her friends and family all accept her, but Chris is a bit iffy about it. Ever since Lauren came out, Lauren has managed to scare off or even woo Chris's dates, and sometimes even his girlfriends with her flirtatious ways. Summer is coming up, and Chris wants nothing more than to have a normal relationship without having his sister intrude on it. But what happens when Chris's new girlfriend catches Lauren's eye? None like before. So this story is finished, and it is actually a really good book, and I personally have never really read fan fictions about like bands and stuff like that before her but I've read this one and I instantly fell in love and I was actually sad when it finished because I really wanted there to be more so this book actually gives you the feels if you love fan fictions and if you love Fifth Harmony I definitely recommend this book and like I'm a big fan I've been listening to their new song work from home on repeat all day non-stop all day yesterday too like since it came out i've been listening to it constantly and i am can't get enough of it so that is book number two and for our final book we have best friends for never and this is by pia lights food too so this book is actually finished by this author and it is a really good book so this is what happens nate and talia have always been fr best friends right from the very start where they were inseparable for years. Inseparable. For years, Talia had been secretly crushing on Nate, but when he suddenly moved to England, he broke her heart and completely changed her. Now, Nate's back, and let's just say, let's just, the new Talia isn't one of his, isn't his favorite Talia. Talia may hate Nate now, but will they feel differently when they begin to know each other again? With a group of friends all set to play Cupid and a tendency, to always end up in crazy situations together? Will the, these two best friends stay best friends for never, or will it turn into something more than that? So this book is actually really good, and I actually cried when I finished it because they didn't want it to be over. And with me, if I cry in your book, it means it's good. It gives me an emotional breakdown. You're golden because you got my emotions into your book. So, yeah really guys work on your emotionals in these books I can't take it anymore like I'm crying just thinking about it like there's tears in my eyes and I can barely see the screen right now but whatever <laughs> but it is really good and I definitely recommend it for you guys did you like it did you did you like it anyways thanks guys for watching my second book recommendation the second video of my book recommendation series. I'm sorry there was no update last week on videos. I actually didn't feel like filming. I got really lazy and I didn't have time to film throughout the week. And this is going to be this week's video too. So there will be no Saturday upload. So because I'm busy all weekend. Competition thing with 
volunteering and I have all that to do. I don't blame my wrist feels bad. It's like too hot. It's time to get a new kit. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and sorry about the blur back in the screen. I mean, you can see my screen and my glasses. I just see that now. I just got directed to the video. But I'm sorry about that. But I need these glasses in order to see what I'm doing on the computer. So really, we can put up with the blur. Anyways, bye guys!